Tom Coons puts tiny transmitters on bats and birds and uses special thermal imaging tools to track them. Now the Boston University biologist is taking a cue from weather forecasters. He's using radar. The technology has improved to the extent that we can now see things that we couldn't see before. Meteorologists routinely filter out flying animals, so-called atmospheric biomass, to make weather predictions. But Kuntz regards biomass readings from America's 156 radar station network as a continent-wide link to a previously untapped trove of biological information. From an integrated and networked data set, we can actually determine uh, where and when uh, bats and birds are moving across the landscape. Kuhn sat on a panel at the American Association for the Advancement of Science with University of Oklahoma meteorologist Philip Chilson and bat expert Winifred Frick, a postdoctoral fellow at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Frick explains the pressing question that brought the three together. Do you think we could estimate the number of bats in the bat cloud? Oh, sure. <laughs> so that actually initiated this uh, collaboration. That collaboration led to a method of counting the mass of bats foraging for food over the landscape. Frick says knowing the density of those nightly forays could help advance studies in animal behavior, migration patterns, and regional biosphere responses to shifts in climate over time and space. We can look at a number of different sites all at once. That will give us a really good uh, picture about the health of these populations. And this particular species, Brazilian free bats, does an enormous job for agriculture in terms of eating agricultural um, uh, crop pests. Researchers have access to radar data updated every five minutes and 20 years of archived material. Frick says the data is publicly available on an internet portal called SOAR, short for Surveillance of Aerial Ecology Using Weather Radars. You can see this whole front of bats kind of emerging here. Frick says the use of radar to chart the biosphere shows great promise and welcomes collaborators to help move the technology forward. She's also hoping that on some clear, cloudless evening, the local weather forecaster will decide to turn on the bioscatter radar channel and report on the clouds of bats overhead. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.